Jeff Green bumped up into the starting lineup tonight, one of seven nets to score in double figures in the victory. He's also someone who has played with James Harden in the past. Let's hear from Uncle Jeff. Uh, just first off, just how big was this W for the team under the circumstances to go out there and compete the way that you guys did and get in the W? Uh, it was big. Uh, everybody stepped up. Everybody did their part in doing what it takes to uh, get the dub. Uh, play against a, a good young team and you know we wanted to come out and you know and fight and I think we did a good job of that given the given the trade um, the guys who were absent obviously following the news what was the communication like in the locker room as you guys locked in for this game uh, was it just just to be there for each other uh, to to know you know things happen in the NBA but tonight um, you know with the group of guys that we have that we have to worry about tonight um, you know, when everything follows through and we're all uh, joining all together, that's when, you know, we can communicate on the basis of, you know, um, integrating uh, James. So, but tonight we had to focus on uh, the task at hand and that was getting a dub tonight. Malika Andrews with ESPN. Hey, Jeff, in, in focusing at the, on the task at hand, you were without several players tonight that if and when this goes through, you'll be without for the rest of time foreseeable future however you want to characterize that you've been so big on defensive identity where do you get that from now without someone like jared allen uh i mean it's a group effort uh, we have to do it as a team um you know we have you know great vets on this team um that are going to do their part and you know our team collectively are going to you know join together and make sure that we're going to do what it takes to, you know, get defensive stops. Um, you know, DJ, Kev, myself, uh, you know, Bruce, um, we're, we're going to be locked in on that end because we know on the other, other end, uh, we got guys that can score the ball. So if we're locked in on that end collectively, I think uh, we'll be fine. Greg Logan with Newsday. Hi, Jeff. Uh, without hey. getting into all the, the details of, of the trade, uh, is it going to feel like, kind of a, a season restart uh, when whatever group comes together uh, on uh, on Friday to practice, uh, it, is it going to feel like you're starting from scratch almost? No, I don't think so. Uh, I mean, it's just one guy that, uh, you know, we had to integrate and, you know, get acquainted with what we're trying to accomplish and what we're doing on the floor. And uh, I'm pretty sure he'll pick it up fast. Um, it's, it's, we're going to do what we got to do to make sure he's aware of, um, you know, where the spots and, you know, what we're looking for. And, you know, he's going to do what he does best. And um, I think it'd be, it'd be good for us, but I don't look at it as a, as a restart. Um, you know, it's just another juice of energy that we're going to get from, you know, him being on the floor and uh, being part of his team. Brian Mahoney with the Associated Press. Hey, Jeff, uh, we all saw James Harden's interview last night. Uh, obviously looked really upset, kind of end of the line there. Uh, you were just on that team last year in Houston. Were you hoping for his sake and for their sake they could do something quickly and, and get a bad situation over with? I'm going to be honest. I really wasn't too uh, focused on what was going on down there. Uh, I was more focused on what we were trying to accomplish uh, before everything happened today. Uh, I really wasn't uh, too caught up in – you know, what direction or, you know, the sayings that was going on um, in the Houston locker room or organization. Uh, my focus was here uh, being in Brooklyn. That, so I can't, I can't really uh, answer that. Christian Winfield with the New York Daily News. Hey, Jeff, uh, just given the history between the Knicks and the Nets, did, did this kind of feel like a rivalry game? And, and what's the experience like at MSG when, when there's no fans? It's a little awkward. So awkward with no fans. Uh, you know, 13 years of playing with fans here, uh, you get that aura. I was telling our rookie Reggie, uh, he's not fully experiencing Madison Square uh, without the fans. And um, it's, it's, it's weird. It's weird being here without fans. But, you know, the rivalry, uh, you know, you got two teams that's, that's battling, two teams that's uh, trying to claim uh, New York. So it's uh, – I mean, it's good. You got an up and coming young team and you got a, a veteran team on the other side that's, you know, um, fighting for a championship. So uh, we're, you know, we came out with the dubs tonight, but I'm pretty sure 
uh, next game, they're going to come out with more energy and, uh, you know, focus to, you know, try to, you know, even it up. Thanks. Jeff Green, a